It is finally here, a brand new era of Pokemon cards. Scarlet and Violet has released. And with it comes brand new EX cards, silver borders, and some fantastic new artwork on Tubbs Gaming. And today, we're cracking into the brand new Scarlet and Violet ETVs. So we have got one of each of the ETBs. We've got the Coridon and the Maridon ETB. We're going to save the Maridon. We're going to have a look at the differences between the two, but the packs we're going to save for shorts on the channel. So today, we're going to be cracking into the Coridon ETB. We can see that a little bit better under the camera. It's absolutely gorgeous with that gold Coridon on the front there on the red border. So we've opened a few of these on the channel, these ETBs, and I don't have the best of luck. I'm hoping with a new era of Pokemon cards, we're going to try and change that look a little bit, but obviously what we always get exactly the same. We've got that sleeve on the box there, and inside we've got the pack artwork. You can't see that fantastically well. I'll show it up in here. Oh, what you can do is you can see me through the uh, through the pack artwork. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the pack artwork on the insides there. We've got the Terra Gyarados. We've got the Paldea starters. This is a bit weird. This is a weird way of looking at this. Mer Meridon and Coridon. Can you see that Coridon? And the Coridon there. We'll have a look at those in a bit anyway, because they're actually on the packs. The player's guide, which we always look forward to having a quick skim through, because obviously, new era of Pokemon, there's going to be a lot of different mechanics. We've got the EX cards coming back, which is taking sort of the place of the V and V Star cards a little bit, but it is slightly different. The mechanics to how those work are slightly different, and we can have a look and it explains that a little bit better in this player's guide but the big part that we want to look at is right at the end here and we've got all of the cards quite like the new look of these actually i think there used to be a few more cards on each page so it is easier a little bit of a closer look at each card there and the big ones that we're looking for are these at the back here the they're not gallery cards they're just secret rares now um, like they used to be but we can see there's quite a few. I've just spotted that King Gambit there at the bottom. If I can pull that, I'll be more than happy. We've already pulled a few of these because if you haven't already seen it on the channel, we did go to a pre-release event not long ago. And some of the cards in this set we have already pulled, which is fantastic. And they were pretty good pulls as well, to be fair. If you haven't seen that video, go back and look at it because we did pull some absolute fire in that video. Um, oh, it's actually got the promo cards that have released so far as well. So we've got all of the promos from the... Uh, the build and battle boxes and the build and battle stadium set which we have got we're going to open that on the channel as well so make sure that you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that when that video goes live you can see what we can pull in that as well because we do have decent luck with those build and battle sets so we'll put that to one side and we're going to have a look at quick look at the box and you can see the boxes aren't actually that tall what's inside if you haven't seen one of these before is a little bit of card just to prop the top up um, there's that same pattern that we could see before we opened the box and that is actually it's quite simple quite standard but it is a really nice looking effect on there and we'll get rid of that piece of cardboard because what we do want to look at obviously we've got the packs in there so we've got two four six eight nine packs I thought they might have done ten because of because of the changes with Crane Zenith, but no, we're still we've got nine, which is one more. The condition markers do look slightly different as well, so we're going to crack those open. The condition markers and things like that are exactly the same in both sets, I believe. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, they are exactly the same in both sets. So these are going to be the same in the Coridon or Maridon sets. You can see we've got the burn marker and the poison marker there. I actually quite like those. I think they're pretty cool. Obviously, there's your code card. If you have only recently subscribed to the channel, I always give the code cards away. So hang around for some more of those. Those sleeves are actually really, really nice. And we'll have a side-by-side -side comparison of those, just so we can see the difference between those sleeves. Because I do like both sets of those sleeves. They are absolutely stunning. Nice comparison. Nice to have different sleeves as well from this base set. So we'll put those over to one side. I'll keep that facing downwards because what we do have in these sets now is a promo card. And I'll just show you very quickly. 
When we've got that cardboard out, we've effectively got a nice little box that we can use to store cards in, spare cards, energy cards, various bits and pieces. So we'll put that over to one side. There's the nice big chunk of energy cards with the silver border, which we do quite like, but I think at some point we're gonna end up missing the yellow border, and those are the dividers in this set. So we've got Coridon there in its battle mode on both, and they're quite cool. Obviously they're exactly the same, but slightly different on the back. We'll also have a look at the Maridon cards as well. So you can see those are absolutely stunning as well. Slightly different. They are marginally different. They're pretty cool, but you can see the same. We've got Maridon in his battle mode on the front there and on the back. There we go. So it is the same, but they are pretty cool. We'll put those over to one side. And then we have the, the dice that we always get with one of these sets. I am leaving that card for a reason because it is slightly different than what we would normally see in these ETBs. But we'll have a look, a very quick look at this dice because the only difference between this dice and the dice in the other one is the colour. You can see there is EX. It is back, guys. We are really happy about EX being back and it's the lowercase EX as well. But what I do like is that he's going to totally change the way the Pokemon is played. And then the last thing we're going to look at, which again is running in line with the Crown Zenith ETB that recently released, we are going to be getting promo cards now in these ETBs. And that is actually a really, really cool promo card. And you can see a side by side comparison there. It's absolutely stunning. Totally different artwork, but. They are both awesome cards, absolutely stunning. So we'll put those in the promo binder, the Scarlet and Violet promo binder that we're already building. And we'll put that over to one side for now. But what we do want to look at are these packs. So we're gonna crack into those packs and see what we can pull. So what that brings us on to is the booster packs. And like I say, we've got nine of those and we're not gonna crack them open in any particular order. We're just gonna go straight into these packs and hopefully, we can pull some absolute bangers because some of the cards in this set I do think are absolutely stunning. It is just one card to the front. It's going to be a while until I get used to that. I can guarantee it. You're going to be uh, you're going to be cringing on the channel for such a long time. We've got Grimer, a Bruxish, a Cagnia, Sandile, a Blissey, a Jacques. Sorry to interrupt. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how well I pronounced that name? No, thank you. Thank you very much. You may carry on. Florigato, nice artwork, very cool. A reverse hollow Houndour, a reverse hollow Dedene, and a hollow Skeledurge. We've got a few of those now. I might try and build a Skeledurge deck if you haven't seen. We'd, I think we pulled two, maybe even three of those in the pre-release video. So act number two. And again, as I've said, I always give the code cards away on the channel. So hang around, I'm still doing it. I'm still trying to do the four card trick. <laughs> I will remember my memory is absolutely abysmal. What year is it? Mass Chief, Ace Bupa, Meditite, Energy Search, a Sea Titan, a Fluffy, a Youngster, oh, a Smoliv there, gorgeous artwork, really cute, Reverse Hollow, a Drifloon Reverse Hollow, and a Klefki Hollow. I did see somebody put this into their, uh, their deck at the pre-release event, but that is a nice card. It's a card that we didn't have, surprisingly. We're not, actually, you know what? We're doing quite well with this set already because of those that pre-release uh, event that we did. We pulled some decent cards from that. I will stop doing it, I promise. I will stop doing it at some point. Marie, a Silly Cobra, a Bisharp, a Ryolu, a Floatzel, Steam Tar... Steam Tar Grunt, Team Star... What's wrong with me? A Team Star Grunt. There we go, we did it. Oh, Lucario. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is a really nice card. I'm gonna say it again. Long time subscribers are probably just gonna click that subscribe button and, and, and leave now, but I do like any artwork that's got a lot of motion in it. Florigato, 
a Drowsy Reverse Hollow and a Harlucha Hollow. And that is slightly different artwork than the Harlucha that's in the um, Build and Battle Stadium set, the promo set, that's in, the promo card even that's in that set. And that is a slightly different piece of artwork and they're both stunning. I'm hoping that we can try and pull the Harlucha in the Build and Battle Stadium set that we've got. So if you're not a subscriber, remember to subscribe to the channel so you can see us opening that Build and Battle Stadium set because there's two 40 card decks in that and I think 11 packs, there might be even more than that. Shroomish, a Sprigatito Reverse Hollow and, oh, 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 oh yes, a Professor's Research Full Art Secret Rare, absolutely gorgeous, the card, the card. Um, <laughs> and the fact that I've played Scarlet, I'm quite happy to get that Professor, just for that reason, just for the reason I played that game. Uh, absolutely gorgeous card, stunning, and look at that hollow pattern, just love the hollow pattern. I don't think there's any texture on, no, there's no, oh there is, there's slight texture at the top here if I can catch that. I don't know if I can, I don't know if you can see that. There we go, it's just in stay in focus, there we go. <laughs> So, absolutely stunning card. It's a card that we haven't got, and obviously, there is a version of that for the other Professor. I can't remember. I know that one's Professor Sada, I think. And Professor... Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what the other Professor is, because my mind has gone totally blank. I know Sarah had uh, Violet. She bought Violet when we uh, when we got Scarlet and Violet, so I was playing... Um, what was I doing? I was playing Scarlet. Um, with Professor Sada. Electric Generator, Wug Trio, Judge, a Mabostiff, a Reverse Hollow Riolu, a Hollow Cyclozar. Oh god, oh, there we go. So that Mabostiff is a Hollow. Reverse Hollow. I actually can't see that Reverse Hollow on there. Really clearly see the Reverse Hollow. We always struggle with ho Reverse Hollows for Dark Pokemon. Um, there you go. So that threw me off a little bit there. Cyclers are re cyclers, a cyclers, cyclers are hollow was the uh, the rare slot. I'm really struggling today with words. I'm not sure why. It's just the excitement of uh, having a new era of Pokemon cards and cracking into some of these sets. I will get used to it eventually. I will get used to it. Silverboard is again absolutely gorgeous as well. Tanmouse, Poker Gear 3.0, Floet. Judge, a Wug Trio, Floatzel, Reverse Hollow Quaxwell, a Reverse Hollow Pachirisu, and a Hollow Pormot. I'm hoping that we're not continuing the uh, <laughs> the look that we get that we used to get with ETBs. I'm sort of hoping that. There we go. I forgot to give you that. One. Nearly, uh, nearly threw a, uh, a code card away. I'm hoping. And I said this at the start of the video, I'm hoping my ETB look is going to change with this era of Pokemon, but it's not looking particularly good so far, is it? A Meditite, Energy Search, a Sandaconda, gorgeous. That's a really nice card, actually. Pretty cool card, I like that. A uh, Katie, a Staraptor, a Reverse Hollow Wolf Trio. <laughs> oh, then. <laughs> And a double banker there with the Arvin Full Art and the Maridon EX, which is absolutely, <laughs> that is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you've seen some of the uh, the previous videos that we've done, but we did actually get that in the Paldea Friends box, I think it was. But it was the jumbo cards. We've actually got a standard size version of that card there, and we're not going to gloss over it because we've got that Full Art Secret Rare Arvin as well. So that was a pretty good pack. That was probably, yeah, I'm going to say that was the that was the best pack, best pack so far. And we've still got two left, so hopefully we're uh, we're running into a little bit of uh, steam here, and we're going to get some more absolute bangers. But we'll see. Raiolo, a Go Goat, a Scatterbug, a Shuppet, Tatsugiri. You can tell I'm going faster now because I'm excited. So we slow down. Pachirisu, a Rocky Helmet Reverse Hollow. Energy Search Reverse Hollow and a Dondozo. So for anyone that saw the um, the pre-release video, you'll know that I'm already a fan of the Dondozo card. 
in this new scarlet and violet set. We'll put those over to one side. And last pack, a little bit of last pack luck I'm hoping for here. And I'll show you what we can pull. There we go, there's your final code card of the video. But stick around because let's see what we can pull. There might be something special at the end. I pull me a Smoliv, a Wiglet, a Grievard, a Bombardier, nice. A Hypno, a Beach Court, oh very nice, by my, I think one of my favourite artists, Oswaldo Cato there. A Reverse Holo Staravia, Reverse Holo Chunk, little chunky boy, and finishing on a Cloth Holo. So, <laughs> I think we're going to have to start disregarding all of these, uh, these Reverse Holos, but I do like to collect Reverse Holos, obviously we like to try and finish the set with a reverse hollow of every card that there is a reverse hollow of. But what we've got now is a guaranteed hollow in every pack, like the Pokemon Go set. So, we've got the Cloth Hollow, we've got the Dondozo, Pormot, Cyclozar, Harlucha, a Klefki, Skeledurge, and then we got onto the big hitters. We got that Maridon EX, which is a stunning card, absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the cards that's been used as marketing a little bit for from the Pokemon company since Scarlet and Violet was announced to be coming to the TCG. Then we got that Arvin Secret Rare. Now that is absolutely gorgeous. If you can't really pick it up on, oh you can a little bit on the camera, but you can see it's sort of like a little speckled effect. The hollow on that card is absolutely gorgeous. It almost looks like a rainbow rare. If you can catch that, you can see it catches the light and looks looks like 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 it has a rainbow effect on it. It's absolutely gorgeous, stunning in person. It does look pretty good on the card. Then we had um, Professor Sada in the uh, in 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 full art. Um, really nice card, really stunning card. We do like that card, and hopefully, before too long, I don't think we have. I'm pretty sure at the pre-release video, someone actually pulled. The other professor so and then we had those two promo cards obviously the Maraidon card I think that's got Grand Theft Auto Vice City vibes to be perfectly honest and they do but they look such so different they look totally different cards but them both looking like they're relaxing but absolutely stunning gorgeous cards my favorite of those two is probably you know what, I think it might be the Maraidon, but there's a little special place in my heart for Maraidon. So thanks for sticking around till the end guys. If you like the content, remember to like the video and drop a comment in the comment section letting me know which of these 200 and almost 60 cards is your favourite from this set. We will have a lot more Scarlet and Violet videos coming to the channel, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because every time one of these videos goes live, you'll be notified and you can jump on and grab those code cards. And until next time, thanks guys.